Good morning. It is week 14 of the backyard garden. Um, today, decisions are going to be made on what we keep, what we take down. We have already taken down a lot, but I think we're going to take down a good bit. Um, this morning, I want to start right here where my catnip is and this stuff and all has just kind of popped up right underneath my hummingbird feeder. If it wasn't for my hummingbird feeder being there, I would probably go ahead and pull this thing up because I'm just not a fan of them. Anyway, the worms are getting a hold of my catnip and my flowers. Um, so I'm going to have to probably trim them back pretty hard. What I wanted to show you, still got these strawberry runners in water. And looks like I might be able to plant some of those. I have already planted some and I've already made a mistake on some of them. So I've kind of replanted them. My understanding is you're not supposed to put this in the soil. You're supposed to use a little piece that you trim off here to kind of stabilize it and just the roots are supposed to go under so I need mean, I went ahead and replanted those see these it's starting to get roots on those as well so I think I'm going to try to take a good many of them out of the water today but these are the ones that I planted. You can see they're having a hard time. That's because I planted them wrong. I planted them, I guess, a little bit too deep. So I just got them barely under the soil now, the roots. So, and this morning, I found a worm on those. You see? These little worms, little black worms, are driving me insane this year. Um, it's the first time we've had a problem with them. Of course, we've never had a garden like this either, so maybe that's it. So, but that's what we're going to make a decision on today. As you can see, that right there used to be where all those cucumbers were. And they got dug up a long time ago. Um, I did pick a lot of jalapenos yesterday, so there's probably not too many left. But you can see, we're still getting a lot of them. I mean, look at these blues. So, looks like something might be not. Tell me if it was worms again. So, this is another area. We'll be making hard decisions on today. And when I say hard, it's because the stuff has, still has fruit on it. See, like this? You see the cracks there? Whatever you do, don't bring those in your house. Because that, an open piece like that invites pests. Well, we brought one of them, I guess, in. And, um... Had it on the windowsill, and I guess it had a worm or something. Anyway, it must have released flies or something, or laid eggs or whatever. And I've been dealing with flies all week, and it's driving me insane because I hate flies. And I hate cockroaches. You see the rot that's going on? You see that? We got too much rain at one time. So, but. Chances are pretty good. All of this is coming down today. We pick off the fruit that we can. And um, just take it down. However, y'all see those bell peppers? I'm happy to report we got bell peppers showing up on this plant. Where is it? Oh, there's one. Got 
that one. I got another one right there. I don't see any more blooms on this one. This one, he's got some blooms. So, but he don't even have any bell peppers on him. So hopefully he'll get some soon. Bottle brushes looking good. Looking good. Gotta try to protect it if we have a hard freeze this year. So, the zinnias. I did trim those back pretty good and looks like I need to do it some more. But the baby ones are down here. Looks like some of them may have died. I don't know why. And oh, I see a Mississippi kite. They've been flying around this morning but haven't made any sounds. I see them. I don't know if, yeah, you probably can't see them. I wish I could zoom in on this GoPro. Anyway, all of this fennel is probably going to come up. I've trimmed back a lot of it. But I think I'm going to just take it all up and just leave the little flowers. The other bottle brush. I'm not sure why the Mississippi kites are flying around my house. But they've been doing it now for know, a week and a half. This one here, this is like one of my big producing ones that I really trimmed it back hard. So it's looking really good. I almost hate to cut it down, but it, I mean, it's got some fruit on it, so I might leave it for a few more days. This one here, he's getting some fruit on him. I can't remember. I think this might be one I plant. Anyway, um, I broke off some of the suckers off of this one here. And the suckers that I had brought inside to try to root, for some reason, they, I, I, I don't think they got enough sunlight to them. So, they didn't make it. So, I said, well, what the heck. I broke some suckers off and I just put them in the ground. That one. And that one. And the reason being, if you remember, I can't remember what week. This one here is from one of those suckers that I just put in the ground and see he's starting to bear fruit. And we got blooms. Oh, and there's one right there, a little sucker. Just break him off. And that's one right there too. We'll break him off. I'm not gonna plant those though. And I did this one too. I haven't watered them yet. I just kind of stuck them in the ground. But the soil is warm. We just got rain again. So, but I think this one here, you see all those runoffs? I got to figure out how not to have those runoffs. So, but we tied them up that way. I mean, it's got a lot of fruit on it that way. But on this side, this is the one I trimmed hard. And you can see it's got little leaves going back. But it's got a lot of fruit on it, so it's like, okay, what do we do? Do we leave it a little longer and let the fruit ripen? And this one, he's looking good. He's got some blooms on him. Yeah. A little bit of a split on it, but other than that, the other ones are looking good. This one, he'll probably go. Let's see. He'll go. He'll probably go. Cucumbers. We had the jade cloth hoping to save it. I think we're going to have to let him go. And he's got some cucumbers on it. I had... Oh, here's one. Here. Make sure it doesn't have any holes in it. There was a couple of others that were about that size. It all of a sudden got wormholes in it. So, 
some more and look like that one's rotten. And I've got balloons. Oh, they're rotten. Oh, I see a wormhole in here. You can see that. Let's see. Yep, he's got a wormhole. Well, I guess they're coming down too. I'm just over it. Um, one thing I want. Oh, I'll show you the zinnias over here. They're looking good. And I just dropped the seeds down from some of the um, buds and I've been taking the buds from these fancy zinnias. I've got them drying out because I want more of those. I like those. You see, this is why I keep the dog kennel. I just love those flowers and I want it for the bees and the hummingbirds and stuff. One thing I did want to show you, I forgot to show you when I was over here. When I trimmed this one back, there was some new growth coming on it. And it's this one here. But see how it's, the new growth is coming along really good. So, well, I just have to make some hard decisions today. And if we do, well, stick it on to the end of this one. I just hate to do it. I call my tomatoes. I have now put up, let's see, today's Monday on Friday. Or was it Thursday? No, Thursday. I put up 10, 10 more jars. So I've got enough tomatoes to, and different types. I did diced tomatoes. I did um, tomato sauce. And I did a recipe where you do the cherry tomatoes and you put like four or five holes in them and put water in it. And then you could put like garlic, basil, and oregano in it. And supposedly they, they, they taste really good when they come out, when, you know, when you open the jar. So we will see. I've never done it. Of course, I've never canned before. This is my first year canning. So, I'm just hoping everything turned out. All the jars popped. So, that's a positive. So, we'll see. Alright, well. We'll come back once we make these hard decisions. Alright, we will take out a little bit of vegetables. The um, bottom up here is still bare a little bit, but it's either got bugs or worms or disease and so we're going to start taking things out. We picked off all the um, ones that are ripe or near ripe and we're going to take them inside and let them ripen. So here we go.
well, after the video, uh, Greg decided to take down most of the tomato bushes. So what we did was we went ahead and just picked all the ones that were still looking good and I'll bring them inside and let them ripen. Um, a lot of cherry tomatoes in there. A lot of the small ones we left on the bush and pulled them up. I'll show you what it looks like now. Now when I come out, you can see. It looks a lot different in the neighborhood. You can see the shade cloth is gone. The cucumbers, we found more worms in the what little cucumbers were left. Um, so far, these have made the cut. We'll check and see what they do. And like I say, this is the one. Oh, he's kind of broke. Um, I guess when cutting the things down, it broke it. That's that one that was just a knuckle that I had just put in the ground. That one, I think that one's the same thing. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Over here, you can see all of these are gone. And that one still has a lot of tomatoes on it, so we left it all the way up. Two lonely bell pepper bushes. And then these, you can see they're still loaded with cherry tomatoes. So, but that's all we got left. So now I'm still trying to figure out what I want to plant where for the late summer slash fall garden. I'm going to start some things probably in a couple weeks. And then in September, we'll start more of the fall slash winter type garden. So, well, thanks for watching this week. It looks a little different. Um, once we figure out what we're gonna do, we'll do a video on it. So all these leaves down here, I'm gonna till them under the dirt. So. Try to build up the soil on it and see how it goes. Got a storm coming this way. So hopefully get a little bit of rain to water these because I didn't water them today. So y'all have a good rest of the week and we'll see you next week.